Yeah, we were turning up like <clears throat> I just meditated to remember some more stuff. And oh my goodness, like I just remember strong dragon. I mean, people are saying water. I, I can feel that because that's very like really, really close to me. Like, like mid talking energy, you know, but see, I was like, guys, we're going to have an after party in Hydra. And I, when I was meditating, I literally saw like, for some reason, they, they're showing me in third person. But I saw like, my dragon self like flying and my wings like expanding and I got goosebumps and chills like all over my body. And I'm like, Oh my goodness, like, I like as Cash said a couple days ago on his event, um, like I've constantly been with the dragons in the astral realm, like, like, I've been going there like, like really often. And now I finally know like what it feels like to fully like be in that dragon form. And it's, it's wild. Like it's like a, it's a different like vibration, like frequency than being in like a human form. Cause you're literally a big ass dragon. Wow. Oh my gosh. But for real, like as I was going like to bed, I was hearing, I swear I was hearing you guys. Like, I think we were like getting ready to like, I don't know, decide where to go because just like the tone of like the conversations I was hearing before I went to bed and it was silent. Usually I sleep with the TV on, but last night I fell asleep to like the fan and um, some rain noises, but I was hearing y'all. I'm pretty sure as I was like going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I got that too. I feel like I made some notes and I feel like we had more of a celebration this time. I feel like yesterday it was more like chill. Let's laugh. Let's have some fun. Let's, it's, it was more like family, friend, like time. You know, we still had fun and stuff. But this time I feel like it was more like a bigger party type of thing. Now we went crazy on some Project X shit. Have you seen that movie? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. That's hilarious. We're going again tonight. Was I just said in the general chat. We're going again tonight. Like, okay, so this time I'm thinking like Egyptian style. Like, we got to go somewhere where it's super like Egyptian. I don't know how that works, but that's my intention. And I want it to be like more Anunnaki and uh, avian and feline type of being type of stuff. Let's go. I was just... Oh, yeah, let's go to Egypt. Hypnos, did you say that you were um, there or something last night? Yes, I was. I was, like, getting insight on how the pyramid works and stuff. It was weird. Still trying to recollect it all, though. Okay, so does anyone want to um, share? I mean, this is very, like, open. Anyone can share their stories. I mean, I can talk about last night a little if you guys want, because I couldn't talk much in the general chat because I had a busy day. But last night, I also feel like we were in Hydra because like some people say they saw like a building and a pool. But I totally remember something like a pond, like a lake. And this there was this cave kind of place and it was kind of dark. But there was this like green light inside the water. And I remember on top in the sky like there were so many dragons and i'm like 100 percent sure i wrote some dragons <laughs> and i also remember jumping in the water and definitely remember pushing some people in water <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> and i remember a purple dragon too that was alia yeah <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure that was me like i was like I was expecting to be in my golden form, but I also have a purple dragon, and I think that's the one that's more connected to Hydra. So that's how I showed up. Okay, but I do remember wrestling. I do remember wrestling with another dragon. Like I'm so for real, because I, I re like I wrote in my notes like it was lots of love, like it was like a loving type of thing. Not like not like we were like actually fighting, but I did say in the group chat the general chat yesterday i was like like who wants to jump off a dragon's back into like a lake or something and i was like who wants to have like a dragon race competition <laughs> somebody took it somebody said yes i will always say yes <laughs> man i feel like everyone's like having so much fun like that's the goal and i'm glad that people are like excited about it you know yeah honestly it's a good time i was afraid like since i don't know how to properly astral project i was like oh i'm not gonna 
go probably but last night like i swear i heard y'all when i was falling asleep like deciding what we're gonna do or like there was a bunch of hype in the energy of the conversations like oh we're gonna do this or are we gonna do that like something along the lines of that <laughs> mm-hmm. it was good i'm actually pretty yeah. tired from it last night <laughs> same i'm very sore like i woke up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom and i was like oh my god why is my neck and my back hurting it feels like i had a lot of weight on me i'm like who was on me like what were y'all doing or that could have been the fighting too like like that could have been because of the fighting but it was really fun and worth it and you know i definitely think we all gathered and we were like okay where are we gonna go and some people were like but i want the water vibe i want you know to be in my wind talking form and i was like what about the dragon form and then i think everyone was like okay we agreed to do both of them (laughs) <laughs> yeah i think that's when i was like about to like join in because um that's the kind of like vibe it was like going for when i was like just like about to like enter the party because yeah i was like i just came from going out too like in like like the real <laughs> world i went out for an hour and um i can't like have any like like sips because of my medications but like also i feel like i should take a break from like alcohol but um last night i went out for an hour before i went to bed and i was like this is actually pretty fun. I can't wait to continue this later in my dream realm. <laughs> yeah, see, I had a little bit of, like, champagne last night. And, okay, there was a bug in it. And I, that was a sign for my guys that, like, you don't need to be drinking. And I'm like, all right, you're right. I don't need to be drinking. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, because the astral is already going to provide so much, like, fun and, you know, like, vibes. I don't think we needed the extra. <laughs> exactly. I joked about that with um, Robbie because she was like, how come like we're not freaking remembering anything? What kind of drugs are we doing? And I'm like, our higher self to like sacrifice the memories for the good time in astral. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> I'll definitely bring some Orion drugs if you know what I mean. <laughs> little grays. We need the grays there. You know, we can't throw the party in Orion tonight. For hmm. the Anunnaki Maybe. party. Maybe the after party in Orion. I think we can do a, like a double party type of thing tonight. Oh yeah, go hard or go home, right? Sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm down. Wherever we're going, we're going to party in every like galaxy in the. <laughs> yes. I love it. I feel like we're being so protected too. Like I feel like we're we have so many like guides and like protection throughout this. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm trying to find pictures of my um feline stuff. I can send it. Let's do a party in Sirius sometime. Like underwater, Sirius V. We do. I think we could do that. Um, Robbie, are we like doing a four day party? Because if we have one tonight, then that's three, and then if we do another one, that's four. So. I mean, we said we are going to party till Sunday. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sunday night, I am busy actually. Sunday night, I recommend everyone to do like a wish ritual. I can talk more about it if you want. It's like a special day for doing like a manifesting ritual. Ooh. Yeah. What is yes. it? Yeah, it's, so, it is like a very, um, it's like a holiday traditional day in my culture, but everybody is like welcome to join. Because it re- really, really works, and I always see it like happening uh, in front of my eyes, like when the other people do it. So it's the fifth night of the May, so the night that is like connecting to the sixth. Uh, we are we are going to get a pen and paper and write our wishes in detail, and then you take the paper and you bury it in dirt, like soil, under a tree or a flower. Then Yo, you. Rabbi. On Sunday, in Gre- it's uh, Greek Easter. Like, it's when Jesus is risen in Greek Orthodoxy or whatever. So Okay, this is like Middle Asian day also for, uh, kind of like similar, but it's not like religious. Actually, this is for welcoming summer day. Uh-huh. It's called Hudurelles. <laughs> That's so cool. So people like dance, jump on top of the fire, make wishes. And then at night... You sleep for a messenger dream. You ask a question and you want to see like something. And usually people do it for like, oh, I want to see the person like I'm going to get married to. And like, can I get a sign about that? And some people do this thing like they eat salt right before, just a little bit salt, right before sleep. And the person you're going to like marry is going to come to your dream and bring you water. (laughs) 
<laughs> I never did like that, but I did before about like me just the messenger dreams and every time it worked and I saw a dream actually about the things I ask about. Then when the morning comes, you're going to take out the uh, paper from the soil and burn it and bury the ashes in the soil again. So everybody who's single in here, you know what you're doing on Sunday. <laughs> 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 I mean, it can be about another type of messenger dream about your career, about your future, about you know other stuff. I'm sure not everybody is thinking about love life only. <laughs> I have a question: Has anyone here had any like um, uh, interactions with avians? Because they're really popping up in my energy right now, and I, I usually. I fill them out, and but I'm not the person that really gets technical with the uh, beings. I, I leave that up to Cash and Jeannie to let me know, and they help confirm it for me. So does anyone know? And I know they were there in Avalon with the Lyrans, because there was avian beings there as well. And I know that I was in Avalon as an avian being. And I, I know that they're very humorous. Yeah, that's what I know. Andy, are you able to talk? I'm not sure if you are or not, but... <laughs> yeah could you share some stuff maybe <clears throat> if you can mm, which one <laughs> about the avians like do, do you have more information on them like um what are their like traits you have different types of avian. i mean it's like with humans everybody has different nobody's the same this way but mostly okay most avians with from lyra or which one you mean because you have also different species yeah i'll check out um jewel runner she said about the avians you should check out the star seed academy youtube channel she has done some videos on them yeah i'll check them out because yesterday i was at the mall and i'm i bought these two um like they're called like soapstone carvings and these two birds stood out to me and they were literally right in the center of the display and there was like other animals around them like buffalo horses or like other stuff that i wasn't called to at all and then the lighter one was on the very it was like it was like on this higher platform just that one alone like above all the other animals and then the darker one with the darker head was in the center of the lower part so they were literally right in the middle i'm like i have to get them as a duo i was originally just gonna get one of them but i was like no like this is like some yin yang energy they were like staring at me they were like you gotta get me so I think I'm going to be diving into that. <laughs> and yeah, they're very childlike energy, what um, Divinsky said. And my experience are like that too. They're very humorous, very playful. And they're not, their energy is not for everyone. Because I know someone personally that has very strong avian-like energy. And his humor can like turn people off. But I find it absolutely hilarious. Kali said, I know that avians are reaching out a lot right now because they want us to heal our inner child. Yeah, I feel like that's really present in the collective right now because, you know, it's springtime and summertime. That gives, like, really big childlike energy, especially because it's connected to the sun card and tarot, um, which is, like, connected to the hot season times and your inner child. And I want them to be here tonight. Look, I want them to be here tonight for my party, the avian beings. I think I, I told this in... Um like the like a chat after um, one of Cash's events earlier this week. I think I was talking. Oh my gosh. Sorry if you guys heard that. My cats are going crazy. <laughs> um, I think like in this apartment, I've seen like, yeah, the child, like the child, like, you know, um, energy, like kind of like pop like a head over my TV. And I see it in my peripheral vision, right? Because I'm watching TV in the living room. Um, and yeah, I've seen like a little like head pop up, you know, and I was like, oh, it doesn't feel like aggressive. It just feels like, you know, like cute. <laughs> if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a peekaboo kind of energy. And um, yeah, I've also had like um, around the corner of like a wall, like little like peeks around too. But again, I was like, nothing feels bad. Like, I'm just like, like, what are we playing hide and seek? Are we playing? Like, what's going on? <laughs> I like that though. It's it's really like sweet almost, you know, it doesn't feel like weird at all. And um usually like, like yeah. Yeah, like something like that. Like I don't know. It's just 
I, I haven't really had this experience before. Like, yeah, I've seen like shadow people and stuff, but like this is like a different kind. It's not really shadowy. I don't see like, I don't know, like a dark shadow when it comes to like seeing these beings. But I guess that it's all my peripheral vision. But when I look at it, they're like instantly gone. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that. It's, it's kind of like it brings like a lightheartedness to this place because this once was me and my ex's apartment and like it used to carry so much like heaviness and I don't know like heavy energy here but since like I've been working with dragons to like heal this space and like help me along my journey like it's definitely felt like a lot more lighter and yeah I still see like <laughs> I still see like the yeah like the or especially on the or on the wall corners like in the hallways I see like a little like boop and then they go away um, <laughs> But yeah, like essentially, like, that's like the closest thing I've I think I've had like in person. A, a, like aside from astral, like I've had like a lot of um, dreams about like UFOs. I think I've talked in the past, and um, I told like Jan and like uh, Teary that I also had a dream. I got taken aboard UFO, um, and what it looked like from underneath though was a big black square. I'm not too sure if you guys know anything about big black square UFOs. <laughs> But the bottom looked like it. I don't know what the rest of it looked like. Um, but yeah, I seen someone like get like, I don't know, it looked like, looked like surgery. I don't know. But that's what my experiences are as like, as like ET stuff, you know, like astral and in real life. Oh, yeah. And alien invasions, like two alien invasion, like astral dreams. Like it was pretty like scary. <laughs> wow. So you said it looked like someone was getting like surgery or something yeah but it didn't feel it didn't feel like a bad surgery you know what i mean it didn't feel like the beings were bad and i'm not too sure how to explain what i seen like the beings did not look gray they were like very like there was no eyes no like it was everything was smooth they were slender like thin um they look kind of like metallic like holographic and metallic um and yeah there were just like really thin beings like even um yeah there was like no facial features like no ears no mouth no nose no eyes no hair just um a f like a smooth body all around but metallic and holographic almost i don't know how else to explain it but as i was doing more research on like you know like alien abductions and like what that means like a lot of people have also reported that they are taken on ships to observe people getting like surgeries are getting like stuff done to them um and i think that's what happened to me because when i first had this dream i was like oh that was me in like a second or third person view watching me but as i'm looking at, reflecting back on it years later like i'm like that that wasn't me I don't, I don't feel that was me but these beings did not feel evil i felt very peaceful up there actually mm -hmm. to me it sounds like some sort of experiment like cash was talking about if you heard like um genetically modifying we know that they do a lot of of that in the universe <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah lots of splicing and all. yeah it's giving me that kind of vibe as far as the you not being able to make out like details robbie said oh she thinks you know she knows who you're talking about that's a mask like it's a suit so they didn't oh. yeah <laughs> okay 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 gotcha i wonder they like what want to be perceived <laughs> Yeah, I think they would, like, know I would probably, like, freak out or, like, I don't know, have, like, a weird vibe because I don't, I'm a very really highly sensitive person and I find I'm getting more jumpy as I'm, like, um, going through, like, the processes and stuff. So, like, maybe they were, like, oh, um, let's not, like, frighten her <laughs> or, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, maybe that's kind of the vibe I was going for. But, yeah, I don't know. Have, has, has anyone seen Artificial Intelligence with that kid from The Sixth Sense? Yeah, I, I don't know how to like. Part. I wish I can like show you guys. Like, probably can really quickly, but um, that's what they looked like from um, artificial intelligence. Those like alien beings at like the end of the movie. Um, yeah, like that's what they look like. Metallic, metallic. They're like uh, robotoids. Robotoids. Okay, okay, okay. Because like I wasn't too sure what I was seeing because um, I know in like the mm. movie, like there's um light in like their body throughout their bodies that's that moves but this didn't have light moving through their bodies it was just yeah it was hard it was hard to see too because like the middle of the room was like a really bright surgery table and like a, a person laying there it was so bright but what i was seeing around the person there was like two or three or four i can't remember it was a long time ago 
but yeah um that's cool like i wish i probably have seen them like in astral and forgot but i was always wondered like what that was and like what i seen <laughs> the robot toys they like to uh they're like one of the big ones who like doing like geni- genetically modifying because oh. they they're trying to they kind of want to try to make humans mix them to make them ai like yeah so that's that's what you might have saw like when they're doing surgery they're trying to modify them to look like a human in a robot something like that um but yeah like that's pretty much like the most like interesting stuff i've experienced so far uh, like, aside from like the alien invasions i've had in my dream um but yeah like the alien invasion one i remember specifically was um it looked like war of worlds like those big tripods almost um it even sounded the same kind of too and then, and then i don't really watch like movies like that anymore because like it's just i don't know like they're good movies it's just i don't really like a lot of hollywood movies no more like big ones um and yeah war of worlds like has like tom cruise and stuff and it was like pretty controversial i think back in the day when it came out when i was a kid um but yeah that was like the invasion i had in like one of my dreams but i think that's when cash was like oh that's past life stuff you're gonna be like all those ufo dreams you've been seeing like yeah past life stuff but i was like okay that makes sense because like i feel you know like i have seen a lot of wars and invasions and like stuff like that in past lives and um I try not to let it like bug me all the time but i'm like man like i wish i knew like where these specific ufos like came from i've seen cigar ufos i've seen like um like those like white like white triangles but not like full triangles or like a like a line i don't know how to explain it and yeah that's pretty much all the stuff i have to share about the alien stuff well thank you for sharing that was very interesting like which what amazes me is like we will never like for right now it's like we will never fully know like a hundred percent everything um even i had questions for cash and i was like do you know what like ship i saw was like who is that he's like no honestly i can't even tell you Mm -hmm. so man i just feel like we get we just get pieces of it but our astral self like fully knows it because we're in that mission or we're trying to either work with them or stop them whatever it is Mm -hmm. yeah exactly um, but yeah, heck yeah, thanks for making this event. I'm really excited to hear other people's experiences. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah, anyone feel welcome to share, like, you know, it doesn't have to be some, like, like huge, like, thing, like, you saw it as a human. It can be, like, a message, a messenger dream. <laughs> Hold on a second. I remember coming in contact with the man at Hawkins when I was in, like, second grade physically. I'm about to go to sleep, but I wasn't asleep yet. And I didn't even know anything about astral projection or astrally anything. And I remember them, they didn't take me, but they like came and they like, and then I went through like a portal. And then I remember being in Manitaka. And then I remember being like in the ocean with them as a mermaid. And I remember them telling me a lot of like wisdom and knowledge about certain things that happened in Manitaka. I remember a lot of it though, because I was young when it happened. And I'm still trying to like get memories from that. But that was a pretty cool experience. Oh, so did you feel like you, like, knew them? Or they were just, like, stopping by to, like, help give you some information? I don't, honestly, I feel like they, like, because all I remember is, like, telling people that, like, I, that I saw mermaids and that I was a mermaid. And then I remember, like, being there with them. Like, they came, I think they came to, like, because I know I have a life as one, so, or had a life as one. So I think they came to like, so I could connect back to that. But I was, I don't know exactly why, because I was so young that I didn't really want to understand. But I feel like they were kind of just, yeah, they're kind of just stopping by and they're like, or, and they wanted to give me knowledge, certain knowledge. I don't really remember like much would have happened. I just remember being there, being them telling me certain things and then like actually like transforming into one and then I remember them kind of erasing some of my memory and then being back oh thanks for sharing I'm like trying to like catch up with the comments and listen to you at the same time okay yeah I see some people sharing some stuff about an alien invasion that sounds kind of scary I'm not gonna lie you know I remember way back years ago like 
my older sister, she would be watching video. They were obviously like most of them are fake, but she was really into like alien encounters and it would it would really like terrify me. But it was more so that it had to do with the dark gray aliens. Like I remember there was a time that people that I was around like it was like, OK, aliens are real, but like they only were like representing the dark grays. And even the emoji is like a gray alien of an alien when there's obviously more galactic beings. It's not even like an alien. It's just like a galactic being. And I was super like (laughs) scared um, to even get into that. So like being introduced to this server helps me first of all, get rid of that fear and also learn that like we are aliens like we are our own type of species on a planet in our own dimension doing our own thing like we are we are those beings <laughs> so it, it really just went away that fear and i feel like more time that goes by people are going to be more open minded about the different kind of races out there i mean like we are in our community but i mean like for the public at least cuz usually when you see aliens on t-shirts it's like your your oval head like like gray or green alien with like big black oval eyes you know like we're not seeing like syrian beings or like like people and then some people don't even understand that dragons are real like that's something like i'm like wow like wow they are real it's not just some fantasy it's not like all of them are bad like some monster that you have to slay like not not all of them are bad like there's literally good dragons and they're actually most of them are very angelic very angelic beings but i feel like more time that goes by more people are are gonna be like opening up about it and you know like uncovering things together like what we're doing here today like you're not crazy you're not delusional you're not hallucinating like this is very very much real and rita said light language has been going into mainstream called alien language (laughs) haha that's that's funny that's funny and you know some people will say that's like speaking in tongues like apparently that's some um like according to the bible that's like a gift from god i believe or something like that i believe they're like the same thing like you're just channeling frequencies like a different language from higher realms so i probably some of you probably know this story i want to talk about like um this ufo encounter that i had i think Some of you might already know, especially if you've seen the YouTube video that I made. It was my most significant encounter, and I haven't had one as crazy as that yet. But I, this was when I was really like diving into Billy Carson. I was learning about um, and Lil and Enki, and like how we were humanoids that were like genetically modified by the Anunnaki and how they changed the Bible from gods to God and the gods were actually like like the Anunnaki (laughs) and I was having like I don't know how to explain it other than my mind my brain like my consciousness felt like it was like cracked open and there was just like all of this like like new information flooding into my consciousness and I I had like another awakening and I remember like going to bed at night like tossing and turning because so, there was just so much information like in my brain and I'm very eager to share this kind of information because it was resonating and it was just making so much sense I was like there's no way this stuff is not true like it's just it's making sense with all the other things that I know and he was also talking about his gray encounters like he had an encounter with two gray beings that went in his house like they literally went through the walls and were like they turned off the, all the lights in his house and like they were doing some crazy stuff to him. And he said that it was like terrifying. Like it was like very scary for him because he, as you guys know, he's like Anunnaki, like he has that connection. Um, and he was really diving into this information and they, they, they're telepathic. They know what we're researching. They know what we're thinking. They know they're watching. Right. So I was sharing this with my brothers and they were like, no, like you're crazy or delusional. And I was like, oh my God, like I I need some people to share this with. And I was outside at night, one night on my balcony. And I was just like talking to my guides, looking up at the sky. I was like, I know I'm not crazy. I know I'm not crazy. Like this stuff is so real. And then all of a sudden I, I switched my iPhone background to like the solar system background of the iPhone. And 
I also wrote in my notes, like, so right after I changed my lock screen to the Galaxy, I was, it was just very weird. Like, I was like, okay, let me just change my background. And then I wrote in my notes, I was like, it was very symbolic. I was like, the patriarchy and society is like blocking me from like knowing my true home. Like my home isn't just earth. Like I have a home out there. And it was just this feeling of like missing something. And this was when I didn't have this family, this, um, this group. And there was the song I was playing was my favorite song. It's called Angels. And the part that came on was he was like, heaven's watching from 40 different angles. Like that's a line that is in the song, like heaven is watching from 40 different angles. And so that was like the law of three, that, that synchronicity, the background, the writing in my notes, the song. And then all of a sudden I had like this instinct, like this calling, like somebody was telling me to look up at the sky. I look up and there's like, these two lights like these two bright lights in the sky like these two dots and you could mistake them for stars but they were not stars because how they were moving i knew it was a ship like it was like one end from another end and there was like literally nothing else in between but the energy was unexplainable it it appeared out of nowhere like it moved in at the speed of light and then all of a sudden it moved to like the other side of the sky to where i could see it more it was like first on my left side and then moved to my right side and it zoomed in like more closer towards me like it was trying to like it was like inviting me in and i guys my heart was racing so much i was like is this freaking real i was like is this real right now like what i'm seeing is this real and it zoomed out like these two dots it zoomed out and then it zooms back in and i swear that they were asking me if i wanted to come with him and i stood up and i was about to go inside because i was like terrified and i didn't know what kind of things these were like i didn't really know about all the other star seeds i only really knew about i was hearing about dark alien encounters so i was like hell no like i'm not doing that and respectfully they flew away and they as it flew away it shrunk and it got smaller and smaller in the sky and it went higher up and the coordinates that it left in the sky was exactly 0.0 degrees north it literally left like exactly like right in the middle of like the coordinates like exactly exact north and that was like so freaky and then my dad like he came outside like five seconds later and i'm like you wouldn't even believe what just happened <laughs> You would not believe what just happened. I was having all these human thoughts, of course. I was like, what's going to happen to my body? Where am I going to go? I just felt like whatever that opportunity was, I was going to get like bombarded with upgrades, information. They would probably wipe my memory clean. I'm not even going to lie. But I honestly get upset about myself to this day. Like, oh, I should have said yes. Like, I should have just seen what would have happened. But I... Truthfully, I didn't know if I was going to come back. I'm going to be so where I was like, I don't know if I'm going to come back to Earth. So I just said no. <laughs> I just said no. They were like white lights, like whitish, bluish lights. And I got kind of obsessed with it. Like I started reading my tarot cards. I was like, who was, who was this? Like, who was this being? And I remember Billy Carson. I don't know how truth this is, but he said that um, these beings like own a planet. Like they like it's ran in ancient texts that they own a planet. And I remember him saying that um, Thoth owns Mercury and some other stuff like that. And I was thinking maybe it was one of these beings that he was talking about and I have some sort of connection with them and they wanted to share that with me. The, um, the, um, yeah, the reading, like my tarot cards kept, like what kept coming out was the King of Wands. It was a bunch of like Mars looking cards, like the King of Wands, the Page of Wands, like the King of the Knight of, like all that kind of stuff. And I was like, okay, like I just feel like it was connected to more like a deserted type of plane, maybe Mars. I don't know, but I was just not prepared for the mind trip that I was going to be on. So I was like, no guys, I'm sorry. But I've, I've seen literal ships come out of star systems like i've seen um a ship one time come out of vega and it's so mind-blowing like i am thinking like their technology is is like i can't even fathom it because i'm like looking right in front of my eyes it literally looks like they're breaking through the dimensions like they're they're descending into our realm to whatever reason, whatever mission they have, whatever they need to do here. They're coming here for a reason. And I literally see them 
coming out of a star and it, it does this like weird like stretching type of moment it's like the star and the ship is like pulling apart it's like shrinking and then getting back together and pulling apart shrinking and getting back together and then it, the ship just like flies off like a normal ship and then the star just like is in place like a normal star and i'm like no way am i tripping like even if i'm not even blinking and i'm staring at it i still can't even fathom what's going on in front of my eyes <laughs> and i now at this point i'm just like hey i see you i see you like what's up guys like you know i just <laughs> that's what i do now and then sometimes they'll even like um like the star will twinkle like, I have lives on Vega. Like, me and Jeannie have some lives there. And it'll just be twinkling and blinking. And I just take that as a sign that they're just saying hi, hello to me. And, yeah, Octarian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Octarius was definitely, like, blinking. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's really cool. Because, um, like, yeah, I I wish, like, I don't know. I've had, like, experience. Like, I think my dad also had experiences where, like, he got taken, like, from his old like house or apartment um but like he was okay this is his experience because he's pretty like in in alignment and in tune as well um but he said like he was being um he was on like a what are those called like you know when you're in a hospital you can like, roll down in the hallway like those gurneys i think they're called mm -hmm. um hospital gurneys like he was on that he was laying on it and um, he kind of looked at the aliens and he said, I think he said they were um, grays or something like that. And he kind of like, he was like, aha, and pointed at them like, I knew it. I knew you guys were real. Everyone thought it was fucking crazy. And like, they were just like, uh, like telepathically being like, yeah, like we've been here. It's, it's, it's not like big deal. <laughs> and, then, like, um, and my dad's like, what are you, what's going to happen? What are you going to do to me? Like, actually, no, wait, don't tell me. Make sure I don't remember. Okay. They're like, yeah we'll make sure and like you not remember what happened <laughs> yeah and, i'm like, not gonna lie remembered. go ahead sorry yeah you know, i wonder like what they like did to him or like like what he consented for them to do to him because like yeah like he's pretty like um like in tune aligned he's very like spiritual sees spirits and stuff so like i'm not too sure like um like what they may have done to him but like he said he didn't feel like like bad energy from them he said it felt like kind of like you know um not like playful but he was just like yeah when he was talking to them he was like they kind of like laughed and smirked a little bit too They're like, yeah, we're real you know like <laughs> mm -hmm. um we're gonna do this thing now <laughs> you know i think i keep hearing dna activation dna activation they gave him a dna activation <laughs> that's why he's so in tune really now yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because, you know what, he's come a long way during, like, his spiritual journey, you know, he's quit alcohol for how many years, and he's come a long way, and I'm really, really proud of him and his journey, too, even though, like, we're, like, not, like, talking right now, but I still, like, you know, um, I'm really proud of him and really, like, happy for him, too. Yeah, I'm very happy that happened, too. It's, like, you know, it's funny. It's, like, all right, your doctors can't fix you. We're gonna, we're gonna fix you. We're gonna help you. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my gosh, she is very anti-doctor, Western medicine. Um, yeah, he's very like anti-system government and stuff. Like he's very like you know like anti almost everything 3D Earth <laughs> has to offer. <laughs> he's like, my home is in space. I'm like, yo, I feel you. <laughs> oh, that's an amazing story. I love that. Yeah, I I like the um, alien chats that we have here. It's really fun. Yeah, I feel like, honestly, guys, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, we've been hanging out on the actual heavy these past few days. So I just feel like we're all friends at this point. I'm not going to lie. Right? <laughs> we're freaking homies now. Exactly. I'm so excited for tonight. I feel like we're going to have way more memories, hopefully. I... I I want that to happen. Like, please, y'all, if you're going to the party, tell your guys to help you remember something very significant, like something that can really stand out so we can like all connect like the pieces together and be like, oh, yeah, you know, I might even do like a call afterwards tomorrow. So, you know, we can like talk about it. Ooh, that's a good idea. Because like I had the intentions of like just like arriving last night because I was like pretty tired and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to, like, make intentions just to, like, show up and hang out. I don't know if I'll remember or not, but I'm going to do it. But tonight, I'm going to say it out loud. Be like, at least remember some of the highlights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if I can. I don't know what I'll be, like, partaking in, in the astral, like, drug-wise, but <laughs> we'll see. 
Yeah, honestly, for the love of God, I cannot remember, like, people specifically. I just think we have a huge group with us. Like, you know, I think people that aren't even aware of the party are there because we've already yeah. been together. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's what's going on here. Because I, like, I wrote in my notes, like, I get the essence of it. Like, I, I feel like the very strong, like, like the energy of it i wrote in my notes like we had a celebration so there was something that was being like celebrated last night and we had like a crazy party afterwards and you know we get gifts as well like if it's your birthday you get like spiritual gifts and i'm pretty sure mine has to do with my flames so i will be experimenting with that and see what happens let you guys know Yes, please do. That's freaking that's freaking awesome. Yeah. So, like I said, we're going to be um having it like um uh, Robbie said Robbie said show up in your animal form. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, your feel like, whatever your favorite animal form is, just show up, you know. Oh, definitely. I would love to be a cat. Uh, please, let me be a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> love cats. Love it's crazy. Ravi said not me coming as a shark. <laughs> Ravi, we're going to need like a pool for you. We got to figure that out. <laughs> That's hilarious. Aaron said I don't have an animal form so I might just come my in my matakin form. Okay, so we okay, it seems like every night so far we've had some body of water. I definitely do think they want to be a part of it so we can definitely do that again. You know, ain't nothing we can't do. It's just some water, you know. <laughs> I'll be a flying squirrel. Okay, hypnos. Yeah, I I want this to be, you know, okay, I can't promise that we won't get crazy again tonight, but I want it to be a little bit more elegant. You know what I mean? Let's not get so turnt. We can't, we our memories wiped and pushing people in pools and <laughs> going down slides and dragon wrestling. Oh my goodness. We've had so much fun. Oh my god. Okay, maybe okay, maybe we can do a wild animal party afterwards. I just know with my feline form is more like a little more serious, you know? And yeah, I want it to I don't know. I I, I kind of want to like honor the the our galactic ancestors for I, I I want I'm thinking like they keep coming up that I think the ancestors want to be a part of it. Like all of our ancestors, like, the people that we've incarnated with, you know, like, way, way long ago, like, the significant people, the guides and the teachers, like, I honestly want, like, a big, like, like get-together, like, celebration party, you know, like, to honor them, because, I mean, it's, I don't feel like it's all about me, 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 like, I'm the queen, like, no, like, I mean, at the same time, yeah, but, like, no, like, I want you guys to be a part of it and have fun, too, you know? And, like, show respect for the, the ancestors. Oh, my goodness. Guys, look at the chat. Look what Robbie did. <laughs> a poll. Okay. <laughs> Guys, t put your vote in. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, we got to have the party after the ancestors. And I've always been really called to the pyramids. I'm sure a lot of you here are very much drawn to them as well. And from what I know, me and Jeannie actually, like, helped with building them so i want to like i want to feel that connection again you know like back in atlantis times like remember guys like atlantis like i want to have that kind of like we're all like one again like we're all like together again like something like that or you know because all the pyramids were once connected all over the all over the world and we had easy access and communication to our star family also i feel like there's going to be some major upgrades and healing that's going to be done too i feel like we've been doing that like we've been raising our vibration by just having so much fun and stuff especially since we were in hydra too i know that's big for like magic and stuff like that so yeah i want this to like be like meaningful like it is still meaningful having fun you guys know what i mean so i gotta be like dressed up all boozy <laughs> 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 okay, only for the first half. Only for the first half. I'll have Guys. something on. <laughs> so I can just take off the one outfit and then just wait. Yeah, come in your drip outfit. Be dripped in your gold, your your gems, your your light, whatever that is for you, you know. Bro, I feel like you, are, uh, you have like big like Cleopatra energy. Yeah, that's the vibe I'm going for tonight. I want to be in all black and gold. Your cat on the throne? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah, I, I want to throw them tonight, you know, and I want to give everyone some good energy. That's why. And then we're going to have a freaking crazy party. I don't know where we're going after that. We'll decide in the astral like we did tonight. Like we'll just be in a big group. You know, you know how people like go out to like clubs and parties and stuff and they have like their group of friends and they're all trying to decide where they're going to go. That's what we're doing. Spontaneous, spontaneous adventures are the best. Yeah, just imagine like a group of like, like a thousand beings, like different types of beings, like all like moving as a crowd together. Man, this is, guys, I'm telling you, this is like, this is known in the galaxy. I, they're expecting us. You know, as Cash say, they're watching us. We are, like all of us, we're like the celebrities of Earth and the galaxy because we're warriors and stuff. So they're watching us and, you know, we get, we get VIP access to anywhere. Especially with Arlen, so yeah, we get VIP access. He just needs his shirt off so we can get that easy access, you know, skip the line. <laughs> yeah, I've been in the astral training, bro. Oh, tell us about that. Well, last night, I, I mean, I, I astral projected, right? But I thought I was in the physical, and then, like, I was like, let me just meditate, do some breath work. And I started levitating, and I was like, yeah, I'm in the astral, bro. Like, I, that's the moment I became conscious. I tried to, like, meditate, and I started levitating. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm in the ashram. And the next thing I know, I'm, like, waking up in, like, an arena, bro. And then I'm in a car. And, like, I don't know. There's, like, different type of, like, things to do in the arena, I guess. And, like, I was, like, getting chased. And the next thing I know, um, I hopped out of the car. Like, the car was driving itself. And the next thing I know, I'm, like, running from, like, people that do a marathon, I guess. Like, in my eyes, like, like they're, like, marathon runners, bro. And I'm just running, like, away from them. And I was... I turned around, I was like, man, I might as well just fight these guys. <laughs> and then next thing I knew, I woke up, bro. And I was like, yo, what the hell was this, bro? Like, I don't even be having dreams like this. This is no way. And like, I, were, I was conscious that I was in the ashram, bro. So I was like, yeah, I was in the fighting arena. And then I talked to Cash and um, Broly hit me up about it, too. I don't know too much. I, I might have I failed last night, but it's okay, it's okay, bro. Like, the experience I took with me was like, whoa, I'm conscious right now. There's no way this is my physical reality. Bro, those moments feel like... I love the, that feeling, that realization. Like, it's like a drug to me, bro. <laughs> yeah. I never really had these type of experiences before, like, in dreams. So I know I was like, I'm not dreaming, bro. And then, like, me being conscious of me meditating. And then I'm like, I started levitating. I'm like, yo, there's no way, bro. I'm in the astral. Bro. And I guess my guys or whoever was with me, like guiding me toward the arenas. Cause I was just so hyped that I was in the Astro, bro. Like I was conscious in the Astro, bro. I forgot. Like I was just like, let's go. I'm happy. Like I'm in the Astro, bro. I'm remembering it too. Yeah, like for me, whenever I become aware in my dream, and then it's like I kind of like leave the dream, I'm already where I'm supposed to be in the astral. <laughs> If that makes sense. Mm, that's probably what happened, bro. Like, I felt like I didn't have to, like, travel, bro. Like, I instantaneously mm -hmm. was there. Yeah, that's how it happens for me, bro. It's like I, like, switch immediately. And sometimes that little switch can be, like, weird because it'd be like, you'll be there, you know? Like, you're there. It's like you open your eyes for a second time, you know? It's weird. Yeah, like, that's exactly how I would like to explain it, bro. Like, it's like I opened my eyes for a second time and woke up again. But I'm like, bro, I was already up. What is this? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, bro. I, I know something, bro. Yeah, and this is like the first time I really went like to like a school or something in the astral. I'm like, yo, this is interesting. It's like I'm remembering more about my dreams and my travels like more. But I did have like a big emotional release. And I've been integrating that because like I'm like, yo, this is like a past cycle, bro. I can't I can't relive this shit again.